everyone. My name is Steve Samuel, and uh, this is a day after the celebration of Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. And I really appreciate that. I'm here today uh, to talk about some assembly stuff, and um, I have the latest version of NX. Uh, at least I believe it's the latest version. And if you go to help about NX, I can see that this is version 2406.8100. And uh, what I've noticed is when I am doing assemblies and I bring in components, um, I'm not able to uh, bring it, I'm not able to uh, do exactly what I want. So for example, I bring in the top, uh, the top of this little table that I'm uh, assembling here. And I just say, okay, and I might go to assembly constraints and uh, fix that first part. That's cool. And then I'm going to bring in the table leg. So I'm going to say add component and I'm going to bring in the leg. Whoops. Hold on here. <laughs> I clicked on the wrong spot. Let's do go back to the assembly. There we go. Add component and bring in the leg. There we go. And as you can see, what I'd like to do is bring in the leg and mate it simultaneously uh, or constrain it but what you can see here is uh, the constraint is not available so basically I have to just bring it in and then go to assembly constraints and then start constraining after the fact so that is not exactly the way I'd like to work it I'd like to constrain as I come in so what I do what I will do I'll just leave that there for a second and I'm going to go to uh, File, Utilities, Early Access Feature, Early Access Feature, and I'm going to type in Assembly. Okay, here we go. So now uh, what you can see here is there is a command. Let's see. Enables the Buy Constraints option in Move Component and Add Component Dialogs. So that is off by default, I believe, and I'm going to turn it on. And the nice thing is when I turn it on and say, OK, I don't have to reboot or restart NX. So now I'm going to go and add another component. I'm going to add this strut, the long strut, for example. There we go. And as you can see, the constrain button is back. That's what I wanted. I wanted to constrain as I come in. And uh, the constraint that I'm going to use is a touch. And I'm going to touch the top face of this to the top face of that. And I'm going to do a, um, for example, a, uh, let's do a parallel between um, outer face and outer face, like so. Good. And let's do a touch between uh, between this face and this face there we go and let's do a touch between this face and that face nice and this face and that face there so the table leg is where it's supposed to be the strut, however, is not where it's supposed to be, so I need to flip this around. So I'm going to go to the assembly constraints, and I'm actually going to click on this little doodad and say um, components, group by components, of course, group by components. And I'm going to go to the strut and open it up so I can see that there's a touch there, there's a parallel there, there's a touch there. I don't want that one. I'm going to delete that one. It took me long enough to find it, I know. Assembly constraints, I'm going to touch this face to that face. And it's interfering with the parallel. Get rid of that. And now, as you can see, the chamfer is on the outside. <clears throat> um, I also have to do a center, a center two to two. So this face and this face are centered about this face and that face. There we go. So that is beauty. And um, as you can see, I can now assemble things the way I used to. 
um, I'll assemble one more table leg. So I'll say add, um, add component leg. And for this leg, there's going to be a touch between. It's nice how I get the preview window. There's going to be a touch between this face. Whoops, I have to say select two objects. The, this face and this face. Boink. And there's going to be a centering between this face and this face. And I've got to select them in opposite order now to make it flop around the way I want. And this face and that face. Oh, shoot. I did a center two to one. I didn't mean to do that. So let's get rid of that center. And it's nice that I'm uh, looking at the constraints and uh, I have them organized group by components. So I'm going to go back and do another center, two to two. That's what I wanted. And I'm going to say that this face and that face are aligned or centered about that face and that face. And that seemingly did not work the way I wanted it to. So I'm going to take that center and I'm going to flip it. There we go. Um, making all kinds of mistakes today, but hey, that's kind of what, what happened. Um, especially when you're doing it in front of others. Uh, I'm going to move this component here, move the component. I'm going to just push it down like that, just so I can move, uh, do a better constraint. I'll do finally a touch <coughs> between this face and that face there. So there we go. As you could imagine, um, it is now easy for me to finish up. Um, when I do add component, I can do the short strut. I want to do two of them. So I'm bringing them in like that. And here I did not constrain as I brought them in because I brought two in at the same time. And then, of course, I could assembly constraints and start touching. Start constraining, rather. So let's see. I want to take this and move it away a little bit so that I can touch between here and there, uh, touch between there and there, uh, center between there, there, and there, there. There we go. And that small strut is in place. And after a while, you get all of these uh, constraints and they look ugly so I can say control W and with control W I can hide them all like that and I can go to the assembly navigation tool and select all of these and show exact so it looks a little better there you have it and then I finish up with the rest of the components and as you can see, I have the full table, all the little components in this nice little simple example. So there you have it. Uh, again, my name is Steve Samuel. Thank you very much for watching and helping me to grow this channel and helping me to get the word out um, about NX and being creative and using these tools to your fullest advantage. And I hope you have a fantastic time. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe.